Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will show you the most effective solutions to fix your iPhone XS that's stuck on a black screen of death. Have you experienced a problem wherein your iPhone is stuck on a black screen and won't respond? You may immediately think your device is broken, but most of the time, it's just due to the iOS that crashed for some reason. Here's what you need to do about it. First solution, forced restart. When it comes to issues like this, the first thing that you need to do is to try and force your iPhone to boot up. There is the process called forced restart, which simulates the battery pull procedure. It has been proven to be very effective in fixing this issue, so that should be the first thing you have to do. Just quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons, and then hold the power key immediately after releasing the volume down button. You have to hold the power key for at least 10 seconds to trigger it to boot up. Once you see the Apple logo, release it and wait as your iPhone boots up. The logo is the sign that the problem is fixed. If this doesn't fix the problem, try doing the same procedure a few more times to make sure you're doing it right. Second solution, charge and do the forced restart. After doing the forced restart a few times and your iPhone XS is still stuck on a black screen and won't respond, then it's time that you try connecting it to its charger and do the forced restart again while it's charging. It's possible that the battery is drained and the firmware crashed when the device ran out of juice. So plug the power adapter to a working wall outlet, and then connect your iPhone to its using the original lighting cable if possible. Regardless of whether it shows the charging sign or not, allow it to charge for at least 5 minutes. After a few minutes of charging, try doing the forced restart again while the device is still connected to its charger. If the Apple logo shows, then it means the problem is fixed and you can let go of the power key. However, if your iPhone XS is still not responding after that, then it's possible that there's a problem with its hardware. You may have to get the device checked by a technician. We hope that this simple troubleshooting guide can help you. Please subscribe to our channel to support us. Thanks for watching.